Hello team, welcome to The Grid. Let's see what we can find out for you today. The uh, wonderful theatre and stage that is Monza for the Grand Prix. Let's talk about the sporting issues today. I'm fed up to death with all the politics and skullduggery. They all deserve each other as far as I'm concerned. Should be putting a barrel and roll down a big hill. Let's see if we can uh, just... Uh, Jens has just returned to The Grid, talking to Andrew Shovelin, his, his engineer. And uh, as, soon as, we, as soon as we can, we'll just butt in. Jensen, well done. Congratulations. Back inside the top ten. I'm going to try and walk all the way back there to find you. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's not too bad. You know, I think the car seems to work at this aerodynamic wing level. Um, so, yeah, it's a positive day yesterday, and I think today we can actually beat the... Uh, we can challenge the Williams and the Toyota, so that's the aim. But aren't you, you're the slowest car in a straight line, and yeah, this is all about straight lines, so you obviously were good under braking in the corner. Aren't you going to get mugged? Well, into turn one, that could be possible. You've got to wait and see, but we think that we're going to look after the tyres a lot better than other people are, and that's that's what we're playing, really, and we have to wait and see. That's that's what we hope, and our pace yesterday and the day before compared to the two cars in front is uh, is good, so we'll see. What's going on around your car at the moment? There's, like, incredible activity going on. Do you know all the detail of what they're doing? I know. I try and stay out of the way while they're doing all that. They're uh, plugging lots of different computers in. I think the FIA come along and check a few things as well. Make sure we're not doing anything dodgy. Obviously, we're not. Um, and that's about it, really. You know, keeping everything cool. All right. I'm going to see if I can find somebody else. Good luck. Have a good one. We'll keep an eye on that. So we've got a, a Honda that's P10 on the grid, but a little bit steady in a straight line. Jano Trulli over there for Toyota would, would be uh, fascinating to talk to him. An Italian driver, of course, but in a Japanese car. Does he get any support around here? It'd be interesting, though, if we can find him, we will. We've already spoken to uh, Nico Rosberg. Kovalainen's car here, the top Renault on the grid. Let's see if we can have a poke in there and find anybody. Any, has anybody seen uh, Heike? Right, let's try uh, Kubica here on the... Uh, he's just about to get ready to go out, so a quick... Robert, can we have a quick word, British TV? We're live. So, good grip position. I, I sense that Raikkonen could be a slightly wounded, prancing horse, and he's got a sore neck from the accident. Can you attack him? Well, we try, of course, uh, to go forward, but uh, I think it will be not easy. For sure, McLaren is on different pace, and uh, yeah, we try. Nick is in front of one Ferrari, so I hope we've good, uh, for good start and good pace through all the race. Do you think the Ferraris are one stopping, short stint, one stop, or do you think they're two stopping like the McLarens? I don't know. We will see. You must have some data. You must have some excitement on that. We will see in half an hour. All right, good luck. And uh, yeah, the BMW is really flying around here. I think uh, we should see quite a lot of fire. It's, a, it's an awful long way down to Turn 1, so they build up quite a head of steam. And uh, we're going to go and try... Uh, we're moving into the top four now, and more and more, unfortunately, they've not been uh, talking to us up there. They're busy. Quick word. Kimmy, quick word, ITV. I think not. Supposedly got a, got a sore neck. Let's see if we can... Uh, uh, I don't, don't take no easily, but I think I'm going to get a second no. No, he's talking to uh, Hammy from uh, Bridgestone. I think we're going to get... Quick word, ITV, Kimmy. Please. Right. No. Where are we going to go? I think I saw Bernie as well. Let's try Felipe Massa, see if he'll talk to us. Yeah, and uh, obviously third on the grid. Top man, a guy who's won a lot of... Uh, and we're already getting the nose. OK. Down there. So, unfortunately... More and more so, the top four guys just do not want to talk. There are, I think, a, a good ten uh, cameras on the grid. John, a quick word, ITV. So, the McLarens looked pretty strong yesterday. You think you have a chance to, to beat them on the longer runs? We will see, you know, definitely. They've been quicker during qualifying. They did a good job. And uh, we will try today to do a good race. I, I have to say that it looked like your car was just struggling a little bit. Is there... And maybe you've got more fuel on board, but you, you must sense that you, you may be following t today. Is Kimmy OK with his neck and everything? Yeah, yeah he had a, a tough uh, accident, uh, but, you know, you have been racing driver. It's things which uh, can happen. Fortunately, so much has been done uh, with the FIA, with the team, to improve safety, and that was, uh, again, a reminder yesterday. And um, today he's fit. He was even fit yesterday for qualifying. But the car just popped up on one bump. Can't it happen again in the race for, for anybody? No, we know that uh, on a very quick uh, circuit with low downforce, uh, 
it's something uh, which can uh, happen, but uh, hopefully everything will be okay today. Okay, thanks for your time. Let's have a little wander around. We will just try uh, Alonso, and I don't know how long I've got left, but we'll have a little, we'll have a little poke up the front here and see if we can get a vibe from any of the any of the drivers. Quick, quick word, Lewis. One word. How's the track conditions out there? It seems hotter today than at any time. Yeah, I can feel it. I'm in this suit and all thermals and everything. I feel it. The track is hot today, but um, I think it's going to definitely make a difference to how people use their long runs and whether they want to go heavier or lighter on their second fuel stop. But um, for me, it's the key is the first corner, I guess. So, fingers crossed. Good luck. Confident? Yeah, I feel confident. Back to you, Steve.